I just want to go um, uh, to Mr. Samant. Um, coal ash, toxic coal ash. You don't know about any controversy in Puerto Rico about toxic coal ash? Sir, we have seen reports in the press. Uh, You've seen reports in the press. Well, you'd have to be pretty blind not to know that there's a huge controversy already in Puerto Rico when it comes to toxic coal We're aware. and the opposition of people to it. And I hope, although your board does impose over the people of Puerto Rico a supremacy, that you would not use that supremacy to continue to use WASIC, tox, coal ash. Um, at a civil incinerator, Mrs. Samant, um, I would hope you would talk to Secretary Vilsack because you seem to have a different perspective than he does. Since the loan from the USDA is through the rural utility services, in other words, the money is not uh, in order to do something with waste management. The money is to create energy. But you said to us earlier, and correct me if I'm wrong, if I misunderstood, that the purpose is one of uh, for garbage, basically, disposal and not for energy. How do you see it? Is it garbage disposal or energy? What is the primary purpose of it? Sure. The, the, governor, the government of Puerto Rico has a letter out, and they consider that plant in Arecibo to be both a provider no, of but energy. But you said primarily. You said primarily. The plant in Arecibo will provide about 2 percent of the aggregate electrical demand. Okay. So primarily, I heard you, and we can go back to the record. You said that it was primarily, yet they are asking for a loan between half a million and $750 million. And let me just assure you and everybody here, given the fact that the government of Puerto Rico already owes over $2 billion, unless uh, Mrs. Uh, Jareska is going to use some of her skills to eliminate that debt, I don't see how we're going to do that. And in the last 25 seconds, because I want to focus on this issue with you. Do you believe that the control board has such power that you do not have to take into consideration the concerns of the duly elected mayors of the cities that will be affected by the incinerator, or do you feel you need to consult with them before you make a decision going forward? Sir, in nine seconds, the, the statute provides for a public comment period that in conclusion. So you don't believe, you do believe that you're supreme, you're kind of a dictator over everything. Gonzalez. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you all of you for being here. My? Yes. $96,000. $96,000. Uh, Mr. Samet, what's your annual salary? I'm sorry? Sir, I think it's a, a matter of public record. How much is it? I think it's in, in the record, sir. No, just can't you tell us how much it is? You know how much you're getting paid. Uh, Why are you so reluctant to give us? Uh, this is a committee. I don't know how much you're getting paid. The mayor was very forthcoming. Uh, the board found a competition, uh, competitive uh, compensation of $315,000. $315,000. Well, my time is up. I would have asked. Thank you. Now, once again, we're running really short on time here, but Mr. Thank you. Um, so I'll ask Mrs. Jaresko, um, I didn't get to ask you, what's your annual salary? $625,000. $625,000. What is the total cost? to the taxpayers of Puerto Rico, the imposition of the Jones Act. What's the total cost? Do you know? No, I do not, sir. At $625,000, you make three times what the chairperson of the Federal Reserve Board makes, and you don't know the cost? That's correct, sir. How can you plan for the future of Puerto Rico if you don't know a fundamental so cost that has such a huge impact on the economy of Puerto Rico? Do you know when the Jones Act was imposed on Puerto Rico? Yes, sir, and I did you, look at the I'm sorry, cost, not, sir. Do you know when the Jones I'm very limited in time. Do you know? No, I don't know. If you don't know. So you neither know when the Jones Act yes. was imposed on Puerto Rico in 1920, yes, nor do you know the cost. That's correct. But many economists have suggested that the cost is between 350 to $400 million a year. And if you multiply that over the time the Jones Act has been imposed, you can see how minuscule the $74 billion would be. I would hope, could you please provide us with the total um, salaries of your deputy? Thank you. She can do that. All the Yes, you sir. can do that in writing, too, sure. Ms. Velasquez. I, I just wanted to make sure we got yes, it right. And how many Ms. people Velasquez. are assigned as bodyguards to each member of the board? Yes, sir. Thank you. Ms. Velasquez, please. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um